looks like another cracking old farmhouse up here. Yes, that's another part of our story. That's Pentrabach. Ah, a little village in Welsh. Well, yes, that's quite a new name for it, actually. It used to be a Grange of Llantarnam Abbey, and in those days it was called Kevin Vanach. Oh, the Monk's Ridge. The Monk's Ridge, yes, which I think must be that steep slope that we've just come down. Mm. So if we go a bit further along the road, we can get a better view of it. Brilliant. Okay. Let's do it. So, Maddie, we're at the point in history where the dissolution of the monasteries happened. Yes, the dissolution, this was seized by the Crown and sold off to an enterprising young man from Calia called William Morgan. And it was William Morgan who started building this Elizabethan farmhouse that you can see here. So Kevin Bunnach became a sort of secondary residence for the older son of the family while he was waiting to come into his inheritance. And eventually they built on so much to the Elizabethan farmhouse that it became known as Pentrabach, the little village. If we go around the side along the footpath, we can actually see side of the house and we can see this great wing that they put on in the 17th century. Well right. let's go and see shall we? And if you look very carefully there's some really interesting things to see. Look carefully and you'll see that large windows, i.e. windows for a house, mm. have been reduced and converted into windows for a barn. So you know we've got a sort of an evolution and development of the building going on which yeah. is interesting. Yeah. But it does certainly say one thing about the yeah. family, and that is that they did well out of the dissolution, well, didn't they? Well, they certainly did. And the fact that the this part of the house is built in brick. Again, it brick is. was the prestige, the expensive yes. building material in the early 17th century. It's very, very unusual. But the funny thing about the fact they did very well out of the dissolution, they bought a lot of monastic property, they rocketed to the top of the county hierarchy, but they were still Catholics. I mean, this is really, really strange. They shouldn't have had anything to do with monastic property, but they did. And so why was that so dangerous, Maddie? Well, at that time, you've got to remember, this is just after the Reformation. Catholics were considered as a sort of enemy within. Mm. What William Morgan, the younger, the grandson of the man who bought this house, did, he married a, a daughter of Raglan Castle, Lady Frances Somerset, and they lived here for a while. And it was probably while they were living here that they plotted to establish a secret Jesuit college at a place called Cum in Llanwathel, just over the border into Herefordshire. Now, it's hard for us nowadays to understand what a challenge that was to the authority of the government. But the nearest analogy I can come up with is that it's pretty much the equivalent of founding an Al-Qaeda college <laughs> in leafy Herefordshire. I mean, would you do a thing like that? Not today. Would you get away with it? No. No. And the other strange thing is that they did get away with it, didn't they? Indeed, yes. I mean, they had a lot of local support. Everybody knew about it. Nobody knew about it. And the college stayed there until the 1670s. The this is where the Jesuit priest David yeah, Lewis, David Lewis yeah, yes, yeah. that was his base, that was his sort of safe house, if you like. He did most of his work in this area, he stayed at Llantarnam House with the, with the Morgan family, but it was the Cum at Llanwathel that was his base. And he was able to work in this area almost openly until that great crisis in the 1670s, the Popish Plot Scare, when they had a crackdown on local Catholic priests. He and a lot of others were arrested and executed, and then the college was closed down. But it's, it survived for three quarters of a century. So it's all through that story. period, this yeah. area stayed This area Catholic. stayed Catholic or sympathetic. The Catholic, I mean, there yeah. are a lot of fellow travelers mm. who don't, as you might say, come out of the closet themselves, but are prepared to support the people who do. And they're doing it with former monastic property. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> anyway, if we go across the stile here, yeah. we can walk across the fields and that gets us to the canal, which sort of gets us to the beginnings of the industrial. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 